All right, what is going on guys? My name is Logan with West Desert Wheeler. Today we are taking a look at the new modifications I made to my Axial uh, SEX-102 base rig. Uh, this is the Raw Builders Kit. I originally had this on capper axles, but one of the main reasons I'm making this video, the capper axles are gone. So I went back to the Axial SEX-102 axles. Um, these are basically just straight up the standard SEX-102 axles. Um, these are the AR44s, or what they called. Uh, the new AR45s that have the portal option, those have an offset front diff, which does not work well with your 10-2 trans. So, went with the original AR44s, it just works out easier. Um, I went to a new link kit, because my links were a uh, total freaking mix up there. So I went with incision quarter inch stainless links. They're quarter inch on the bottom, they're a little bit narrower up top which makes a nice low center of gravity. I'm still running the uh, shock towers on the rear from Rock Pirates RC. The rock sliders are from Rock Pirates RC. And a new addition up front, this big shiny piece in here is also Rock Pirates RC. That is their servo mount and it also doubles as a winch mount if I had a winch. They make an awesome battery tray that fits right in here, which puts your battery just behind your front axle. Because I'm not running a winch, I am running my 1300 pack right in there. So all my weights up front, and then I've got a brushless motor in here. So super awesome combo. Basically right back down to an SCX-102. Um, went with aluminum shock towers up front from some racing brand that I haven't really heard of. There's no tuning available on those. It's just one shock position, and you get one position for the uh, body mounts to run down into there, which worked out to be the exact same positioning, so that I'm pretty happy with that. Today, we're gonna get out and see how this thing performs. I have run this uh, just kind of out with my buddies and it seems to do pretty good, surprisingly. So the suspension's still tuned pretty well. I may end up changing my position on the shocks and probably just gonna ditch these bed sides because the back end of the bed got ripped off and uh, I just don't know if I care to have it on there. One of the biggest differences that I have made on this truck is it used to be servo on axle and it was four linked in the front with those capper axles. It is now three links, and you can see the pan hard bar as well as that steering drag link. My servo is now mounted to the chassis. So that's going to be the big difference here on the suspension setup. Um, if you guys haven't seen my Flysky GT5, here it is. This is the radio I run with all my trucks. And if I ever run rear steer, I run it off of this dial up top. But uh, great little radio. I have an Amazon affiliate link to these down below. Check them out. They have a lot of features for what they cost. I think this thing's like 60 bucks with a receiver and the receivers to bind with this are cheap as well. So let's get to it. We're in a really cool spot here. Actually, every time I post this up on my Instagram, West Desert Wheeler, um, people always seem to like this more than almost anything else I post. So we're gonna start out in this little canyon. So this is a really awesome spot out in my area. It's this little ravine where it's just the perfect width for these trucks. Every time I post it on my Instagram, West Desert Wheeler, people just seem to love it. So, might as well throw this one in a video. All right, guys, we're gonna be running a trail today that I've actually featured on this channel before. Um, I call it the Risk Trail, but obviously I have not had this rig up it with this setup. So, we're gonna be chasing this thing around up these rocks. Something I do want to talk about is I have a pretty exciting event coming up. I am running my first RC crawler competition that I have completely organized and put the get gates together, picked up some sponsors as well. So I need to definitely send out some shout outs in this one. So first off, I definitely got to thank my buddy Wyatt for giving me a hand with setting up gates and running courses and helping me make sure that my courses aren't too crazy and that they're not too easy. So between the two of us, we got three courses set up. They are 10 gate courses. Um, if you guys are wondering when the comp is, it is July 9th, 2021, and it starts at 7 p.m. because out here in Sand Hollow, it gets really hot. So I'm actually going to run an evening crawl, and we're gonna start at 7 p.m. Now, in addition to it being in the evening, I have made sure that all three of my courses are completely built in the shade. So what's gonna be awesome about that, you're not gonna be standing out in the sun getting baked. It's gonna be nice and shady where we're at. It'll still be hot, but uh, luckily we're gonna have some barbecue, some burgers going on, and I'll be sure to get a cooler full of cold waters out there too. So anybody who wants to come out, it is free to attend, and there's also going to be a prize table thanks to the sponsors of the event. 
So one of the first people I approached about sponsoring this event was Brock Pirates RC. Those guys have been really awesome to work with and uh, I really like their products. So they sent over a couple sets of shock towers for SCX 10 2 and Element Trucks. Their shock towers make a really big difference in performance because you can really angle forward those rear shocks as you can see there. And then there's a bunch of adjustability in them. You just can't see them through my bedsides. But uh, huge shout out to Rock Pirates RC. I greatly appreciate you guys helping support the event. That was a steep climb. That thing made it look easy. Second big sponsor I want to give a shout out to is Enduro Designs. Alex over there, he 3D prints a bunch of aftermarket accessories for RC cars, as well as RC car garages, like if you're building a scale garage in your house. Um, Alex has a ton of options available, so check out Enduro Designs. Thank you very much, Alex. I hugely appreciate it, dude. And I'm looking forward to see what we get to put on that prize table. Another sponsor we've got is actually Trail Hero. They're gonna supply a couple pairs of gloves that they have, like some mechanics gloves, and then also a couple hats, which I have worn the hell out of mine. It's all destroyed now, because it's got all sorts of sweat rings and bands and stuff. It's looking pretty gross, but uh, that hat was awesome. I loved it. I wore it all the damn time. So thank you very much, Trail Hero. Uh, if you guys don't know what Trail Hero is, it is a full-size off-road event here in Sand Hollow and uh, it's super awesome. They're really big on helping out veterans and uh, access to people with disabilities, as well as getting people out on the trails just to have a good time with their family. Probably one of my all-time favorite off-road events is at Trail Hero. It is called Trail Breaker, where they invite some of the best off-road drivers in the world to come out and rock crawl to come out and rock crawl an extremely hard rock crawling trail that has not been run yet, but it is absolutely amongst the top rated trails, meaning that it is one of the absolute hardest trails out there to conquer. Trailbreaker runs the course for the first time and the drivers do not get to watch each other run it. Everybody goes into it blind and have to figure it out for themselves. And basically, as long as you run it clean, whoever did it the most efficient, meaning whoever does it with the least amount of time, ends up winning the event. So if you guys are curious about Trail Hero, be sure to check it out. It is usually the first week of October down here in Sand Hollow, Utah. It's getting bigger every year and I love it because everywhere in town you just see rock buggies and uh, that's my thing. So I love when it is time for Trail Hero every year. All right, we're pushing the limits on this truck now. This is one of my favorite obstacles. I don't know if this one, truck's going to be able to do it these days. Looking like we're on the right line. Here we go. Ooh, man, that's close to tipping over. With this truck being so much narrower, it now does not side hill as well, but it's still surprisingly good. The low center of gravity works out. Without the portal axles from the capper axles, the truck actually rides lower. And then the links are actually pretty flat coming off of the skid. So they're just as low as you want it. There we go, getting nice and sideways. Getting our side hill going through here. You know, I was concerned because this truck really performed awesome on those capper axles. I was a little concerned that with adding these big changes like this, that the truck was just going to completely change and possibly not perform as well as it did. Um, I'm actually pretty dang happy with how it's performing. So not regretting these changes. I do need to add overdrive in the front again. Oh, getting close. Oh, yikes. Ah, damn. I need to add overdrive in the gears on this because uh, my capper axles I had overdrive through the portal gearing. So I, I did lose overdrive on that. The steering angle is pretty good. I don't know if it was as good as my servo on axle with the modified capper housings so i may have lost just a little bit of steering angle through that as well one of the other sponsors to the event is going to be fabin 801 those are a full-size rock crawling chassis company uh, be sure to check it out fabin 801 thomas over there is into rc crawlers as well and uh, apparently he's got a bunch of moa crawlers and really looking forward to see him come out to the event. So that should be really awesome. 
And then finally, our last sponsor of the event, and probably the biggest contributor, uh, is going to be Sky RC. Sky RC uh, was supportive from the beginning, said he'd throw in some gift cards to start, and then he gave me a call back and he said, you know what, man, let's really push this thing over the top. I'm gonna bring out the grill and we're gonna have some burgers and barbecue while we're out there before we start crawling. So I definitely need to send a huge shout out to Sky RC. Thank you very much, Cody. Really looking forward to how this event goes. Just making sure everybody has a good time. Everybody's fed. It's free to attend. It's a free barbecue. There are prizes on the table up for grabs. Free participation. There's an open class, unlimited buggy. And then there's also going to be basically a class two limited to 4.75 tires. So personally in my comp, I'm not going to be following Sorka rules for the classes. Um, one of the big reasons is because my own trucks don't fit within that rule set. And uh, I kind of just want to make it easy. I don't want to be teching trucks and whatnot with just a free to participate event. It's not that big of a deal. So it's going to be trucks similar to this build, SCX 10-2 and whatnot. Uh, Capras are allowed in that class as well if somebody wants to show up and run them. We've got a ton of local guys that are running just flat rail chassis and LCG rigs. So it's really like kind of built around them. Uh, just 1.9 tires, 4.7 overall height. Obviously you can run two two wheels if you would like. That's just up to you. That's actually how this truck is set up. Try not to fall over as I'm crawling here. I'm trying to walk backwards and record and talk. There we go. Nice and clean. This comp rig, man, it just point and shoot on these lines. I do need to trim my body just a little bit more because the uh, old tires used to sit out further. And now with the tires pulled in closer to the body, obviously they rub just a little bit. So yeah, guys, if you're in the area or it's within a reasonable drive that you can, or if it's within what you consider a reasonable drive, come on out July 9th, 7 p.m. It's supposed to just be a good time. I'm not gonna be too serious with it. And uh, it should be a fun one. Three courses to run, everybody's welcome. I tried to make it to where no matter what type of rig you had, you're welcome to come out. Gate minimum width is going to be 12 inches. So if you're showing up with a bomber or an OG Wraith, it's gonna be a little tight, but I think you should be able to squeeze through in most cases. With a full droop suspension, it likes to hop like that. And typically when it's hopping like that, it just doesn't wanna climb. Checking our clearance here on the bottom. You gotta know when to call it back up and take a reset. Ah, I had it on that ledge. A little bump, never hurt. One of my favorite views on the Risk Trail is this hilltop right here. You got Sand Hollow in the background, all the rock formations, and it's at eye level watching your truck roll by. Super cool. This obstacle has almost always chewed me up and spit me out. I really doubt this truck's gonna get it. We're gonna find out though. It's so tall for this wheelbase, it just wants to flip you over backwards. Come on, truck, come on. Holy cow, it just one-shotted that, damn. Yeah, comp rig is no joke, guys. This thing works. Seriously, I've like tried and tried with my capper on that and it's really hard to get that that easy. This climb is another extremely difficult one. Somebody has stacked rocks here and uh, basically once you get your front end up, you kind of just have to hammer your way up and hope for that perfect bounce. We'll try a crawl, but we're gonna hit our belly and run out of traction here in about 
three inches. Just like that. Let's try and get centered up more on that. Let's just shoot it from here. Yeah, all that forward weight pushes it right up and over that ledge. Basically the final obstacle here, guys. So I'm just gonna go ahead and thank you all for watching. I really appreciate it. Everyone who likes and comments, I read all the comments. I may not respond to all of them just cause sometimes it's hard to do so, but uh, I really appreciate how positive you guys have been on this channel. It is awesome, it's refreshing. I do run two channels and uh, this one by far has been the most positive. So thanks everyone for commenting and talking about the rigs and uh, I hope along the way somewhere I've helped you out. And uh, you know, we're looking forward to doing more and I'm definitely looking forward to my actual RC comp that I've put together coming up this next Friday. We'll see you guys in the next one. Keep the rubber side down.